Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to label bootstrap buttons. Uh, just like we label our wells, we want to label our buttons. Uh, give each of your button elements text that corresponds to its ID selector. Okay, cool. So as always, I'm going to separate my buttons. I want it to be easier to read. Um, and let's see. Give each of your buttons elements text that corresponds to its ID selector. Um, Cool, so should have text of tar hashtag target one. Your button with target one. So here we have our element with target one. I'm gonna finish up these buttons. And then I'm just going to write in here. They want us to have hashtag target one. And then this will be hashtag target two, hashtag target three. You can see the buttons are filling in right here. So it's actually starting to look useful. Hashtag target four. Hashtag target five and hashtag target six. Now, the reason that I separate the buttons like that is because it makes it so easy. If each time I had to be like, uh, you know, coming in here and going hashtag uh, target four, it, it, it's the exact same thing in terms of what's happening programmatically. But if you do it like this, where you've got your buttons already pre set up and you can just go uh, hashtag target four. I mean, that's just way easier for me. And when your applications start to get much more complex, it makes use, it makes sense to do it this way. Now this stuff's not really boot, yeah, it's bootstrap stuff, but this is, my guess is that this is gonna lead into the jQuery situation. Uh, yeah, run the test and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next lesson.